So today I'm gonna meet uh, Adam Onja at his house and I'm gonna do the Olympic program with him. I don't know if I'm ready for that, honestly. Uh, I think I'm gonna be tortured today. And Adam is a really, he's a really like serious guy when it comes to training and he's, he's very professional, I feel like. I was never that professional. I mean, that's what it takes, I think, to become the greatest, the best climber in the world. Uh, in my eyes, even though he didn't win the Olympics, he's still the best climber in the world. So today we are in my home gym, which I designed specifically for climbing circuits. We have some colorful tapes that are indicating the specific circuits. There's anything between 7C to 9B. And I have some special stickers from Tokyo of the Olympic mascot. So I was thinking that would be a nice sticker to indicate the circuit that we are going to set together with Magnus. So that would be a nice memory of Magnus' visit. What associations do you get when you see the sticker? Is it positive or is it mixed feelings? At the moment it's neutral. Yeah. I just see like the Olympic sticker and I don't yeah. think about the failure anymore. No, okay. Yeah. So that's good. You already forgotten about, about it? I don't think I've accepted it 100% but okay. I just simply more like forgot about it. Yeah. Do you think you'll be able to use it as fuel for the next one or do you think I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I bought it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, you did? I, I bought the with stickers the with of... the intention of making circuit wow. here. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but thank God there is not speed climbing anymore. So. Yeah. Well, Actually, my wife told me that uh, she would get divorced if I would go for the speed climbing. <laughs> <laughs> thank God I'm absolutely not talented for that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> While competing, I would have given my left thumb for one of these gold medals. It's crazy how many he has. This one from 2011, I was actually here. Got fourth place in this. So, I guess the only thing that's missing is the Olympic gold medal. Because I mean, when you when I heard that you or when I saw that you weren't winning the Olympics, I was like, but you've done everything else, you know. <laughs> it's like it's it's sure that maybe if there wasn't the Olympics, I yeah. would not be competing anymore. Okay, I would just you focus on yeah. climbing. Is that because you feel like you've done everything? There's no yeah, it's kind of repetitive. Is there anything else other than the Olympics that you haven't done that you really like competition-wise that you want to do? I still didn't win like a proper rock master. Okay. On that wall, a competition on that wall, which yeah. wouldn't be like duel. Yeah, okay. In Arco. Match. Left through here. Left through here. Cross here. Left through here. Match your feet. This one, this one. Orange. This. There is a foothold and there is a foothold. Good foothold here. Cross down here. Here, left foot here. Right from here, across here. Good foot hold. Two. This one, right foot here. Left foot here. Match. Okay. Could have been, I think, six percent or something like that. Six percent? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was a little bit afraid that. <laughs> it's like the one that everyone warms up on, but... Is there like a specific thing you think about when you need some extra motivation? <laughs> like, I mean, I would say like 90% of my training, yeah. I don't need the motivation, I'm just right. psyched. Yeah. The only time that I'm not psyched that I just feel tired or my skin yeah. hurts. And at that point, I just think about the goal that I'm training. Because like all the strong kids nowadays, when they grow up, they want to be like you, you know? Yeah. So who do you want to be like? <laughs> you just want to be a better version of yourself or something. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I think it was this. Alright. And then 
here as an mm -hmm. intermediate. Okay. I think we should also do something fun about the sports though. We should put <laughs> the more physical sports at the end. All right. So it starts with like horse riding, like All right. easy stuff, and then it gets harder and harder and harder. And then at the top, it's like weightlifting and like really hard stuff. <laughs> okay. So when you get to the top, you see the weightlifting and you're like get extra motivation. <laughs> but it's hard to determine what's easy sports. <laughs> like nothing is easy. It's just... Yeah. I would start with the horse. The horse, yeah, because yeah. then. The horse does most of the work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then the hole looks like a wave, so it could be surfing. Surfing, yeah. And then it's the crimper and crimper. Stick to the water topic. Here it's quite technical, you can slip that's very true. easily. So it could be fencing. Mm -hmm. That's a very technical sport. Yeah. Could be shooting. Could be shooting right. with a. Yeah. Nice, come on. by how fast you can do on this, even though it's like the first time you're trying it. Yeah. So what it's a practice thinking? of 20 plus years of doing yeah, this. Yeah, this stuff. And also knowing the holes and how they're placed. Oh. So what do you think about the grade and stuff? Was uh, it good? Hard for AB. Hard for AB. But it's, think, it's better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Steep, keep the foot there. Keep the foot there. Bad foot holes. Get this one and go all the way here. Right there. Nice. This one. Ball. So jump. Left over there. This one. And you can match this and get this one. And this one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Strong. Nice. This one. You match the feet. Just, uh, do you have any other footholds? No. This one and all the way here. This one, and this would hold. This one, nice, nice. This one, keep the foot. This one, and then the red one. The red foot holds. This one, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice, nice, nice. Stay down, cross over. Nice, nice, nice. This one. Strong, come on. This one. <laughs> oh, you don't want to continue. Good. Try to continue. No, it's okay. <laughs> I know you have more planned for me. It was fun though. Also the 7C. Yeah. I was pretty tired from that one, yeah. honestly. But uh because I never see I mean I've seen similar stuff to this, but I've never seen something quite like this. Uh it's uh, it's very interesting because it's so easy to start and end at the same yeah. Yeah. hold. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, what makes it unique, I think. You have pretty fat fingers, that's good, yeah. right? Do you do a lot of uh, sandpapering on your skin? 
I don't need to. You don't need to, no. Because no. I feel like sometimes it just gets worse yeah. if I sandpaper a lot. Yeah. It gets thinner and more, more painful. Yeah. And I don't really get too often like, you know, just... But that cuts, that, that's That is annoying. a cut from the knife, yeah. from the knife. Okay, really, well, <laughs> That's annoying, yeah. That's, like, takes so long to heal, so, stuff uh, like that? It's not very deep, unfortunately. Okay. It happened to it two days ago. Yeah, but I mean, if you're always climbing on it, you know, is it gonna... Yeah, I think, honestly, like, with the fingers themselves, I've never really been injured. Okay, yeah. Even though I think I've been crimping yeah. all my life. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive yeah. that you've never been injured your fingers. I think it's kind of cool to see that you like still the because I consider you kind of my generation. And it's cool to see that the best climbers from my generation, like you and Jakob, still are going strong. Yeah, I, I, but I think in lead, it, you know, the years of experience and hard work yeah. pays off more yeah. than in bouldering. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think that the level in lead climbing hasn't really went up that much no. in the last ten years. Because most of the competitors also like try to go deeper in the bouldering and okay. try to mix it up. Yeah. But if you really want to improve in just the pure endurance, I think you should just train the pure endurance and that takes a lot of time and yeah. effort. Yeah. It's a hard work. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> it's definitely hard work. <laughs> In the afternoon, we will go to the sauna where we have both climbing wall and some space for doing exercises. And so I really wanted that Magnus try some of my Olympic training. And as we all know, it was really hot and humid in Tokyo. And part of my training routine was definitely visiting this super hot and humid place. Take my mind somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere hot. <laughs> on a beach somewhere. Oh my goodness. Come on, this last one. <laughs> I feel like an idiot too. 40. <laughs> It's really hard. Yeah. It's oh, my shoulders just getting. You're not used to, so it's pretty hard. Yeah. Just hold it on that. No, pretty impressive what you did without yes. any preparation. Yeah. It's just because of YouTube that I do all these <laughs> dumb challenges. You know how it is? Like the dumber the challenge, the more use it's gonna yeah. get. <laughs> But it's kind of fun too. I mean, I enjoy it. So, yeah. Yeah. So now I've gotten a little bit of insight into like how much preparation and dedication that really went into the Olympics for Adam. I think he prepared harder than pretty much anyone, and it didn't pay off in the end. It's almost like a grieving process. I think that he had to go through, and now he seems to seems to do a lot better. And just the fact that he's He's able to talk about it and uh, hat off to him for dealing with it so well and also the preparation that he did. I think, uh, I think it is really impressive to see. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going. How does it feel? It feels 
was hot. <laughs> I mean, I, th I feel like the, the honor has been all mine though, <laughs> to, to come here, uh, make videos with you, see how you train, also how you train for the Olympics. Uh, I find it really fascinating, especially with uh, the climbing sauna. I thought it was a joke at first, but uh, <laughs> it's cool to see like how professional uh, you are. And it's like, it's a shame that it didn't pay off, but I'm sure that it's gonna pay off in, uh, in three years in Paris. Thanks. And it's not going to be that hot, so you don't have to do the sauna training. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm very, very happy to be here. Thanks for visiting. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is going straight on my coffee table. Thank you very much. <laughs>